Her name is Zior Love Uzuia. She was born on February 28th, 2024, and she has effectively flipped our world upside down. Hello. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia. This is an exciting video. I am 40 weeks and five days pregnant and I am being induced today. Not my original plan. It is what it is. So we are just kind of rolling with it. Should we address this? I have been on a podcast kick. I swear I want to be on a podcast or have my own podcast. And this is kind of just like scratching that itch for me right now podcast topics wrote them on my phone just kidding okay so my appointment is actually in two hours right oh no it's in one hour oh my gosh it's already one <laughs> my appointment is in one hour so this intro is going to be really quick my appointment today is it's technically an induction but they labeled it as a cervical ripening because my birth plan has always been to go without an epidural there are two different ways of ripening the cervix besides using pitocin and the reason why i don't necessarily want to use pitocin is because it's usually partnered with an epidural or the person receiving pitocin would typically desire an epidural because the contractions come on quick and strong and hard so i'm like if there's other options then maybe we could try those first to get things going and i want to go to the hospital here the doctors out and see what option they think is best as of right now i am two centimeters dilated i haven't really had many contractions if i have they are kind of spread out that's that i just wanted to do this sit down portion as an intro really just to use this mic honestly i don't know why but yeah that's really it let's go to the hospital baby this is everything that we are bringing i'm like So this is everything that we are bringing to the hospital. I know it seems very excessive and it might be. This is Chimini's bag, baby girl's bag, and then we have pillows, blanket. I also am bringing cameras. If you guys are curious at all what I packed, I will link my hospital bag video up here so you guys can take a peek at that. You're gonna be like, are you okay? Why are you bringing all this stuff? Hopefully that wasn't too bright. It is raining outside right now. We are about to go put the car seat in. The base has already been in there, but we're gonna go put the whole stroller and car seat in the car right now. Hopefully we can figure that out. Last day, the baby inside. Coming out, <laughs> She moving. Wow. Quick little check-in. I am feeling good, excited, but also anxious, nervous, all the things, because it's actually here. Finally, we get to meet her. Just curious and interested how long the whole induction process is gonna be. Yeah, I'm feeling excited. We don't know what we're doing, but we're here. <laughs> right, guys, guess what? I'm all hooked up. Um, they took my blood. You can see right here, this is what it looks like. This is monitoring contractions. This is monitoring baby's heart rate. She's at like 140, 144, which is her normal. Tell me why I lay down and I start feeling a little tightening down there. And I'm like, am I having contractions? Like, is she trying to come on her own right now? And then we look on the monitor 
and it is elevating as if I'm having contractions. I would be so happy if she decided to come on her own. Like, what are the odds? She just smells that we're in the hospital. She don't like the smell of the hospital, so she's trying to get out of here as quick as possible, too. Which, hey, let's go. I think I'm having one right now, too. They were, like, really nice, like, and then it was like, and then I just became Yeah, she says that, but I don't believe What are you eating? Woo! You guys. I thought that I was recording, but I was not. The doctor came in, he's really nice, and he went over basically, what did he talk Oh, I am having contractions, and they are pretty regular, I will say, I can kind of feel them still. He did check me, and I'm still only two centimeters dilated. See, that contraction feels like. And her heart rate. That is so hot. What is it? Oh, Ooh, guys. <laughs> that hurt. I don't know if it's a contr- like... So, because I'm only two centimeters dilated, he did put a Foley balloon in me. Kind of hard to explain, but basically it's inserted into the cervix and there's two balloons. So there's one balloon that they fill up with water above the cervix where the baby's head almost is and then another balloon that is filled up underneath the cervix. The point of it is to help dilate you to a four. Hopefully I'm making sense but I am feeling contractions right now. I will be able to like move around and stuff with this catheter. It's taped to my leg, so I can like bounce on a ball, go to the bathroom. So what we have here, we have a screen. <laughs> and on the screen, we have two squiggly lines, right? The first squiggly line is supposed to be the baby's heart rate. And the heart rate right now is showing 144. Which so is good. We're, we're good. When she get excited, she can get up to like 175, 180, but still good. We just don't want it to drop too low. And then we have a second squiggly, a second squiggly line. <laughs> You see how there's like random humps every like two or three lines. So she has a contraction here, and then the minute goes by, then the second minute, and then in the third minute, she has another contraction. We're just here patiently waiting. Baby Z, for y'all who don't know her name, her name is Ziora Love Uzuihe. Is her name in evil means show the world love? Try to be different. So update real quick. The Foley balloon I could feel coming out. So I had her see and she tugged on it like very lightly and it did come out. So she was like, one, either it kind of just like wasn't in the right place or you're actually dilated. She took it out, I went to the bathroom, she came back and then checked one more time and I am at like a three four, she said. I'm so scared. So they're gonna move us into the actual labor and delivery room in 10 minutes. So we'll see you guys over there. Hey, it is 8.20 p.m. And we are now in the official labor and delivery room. They moved us here probably, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes ago. I still feel good. Still no pain medicine or anything like that. And if I do get to that point that I do want some pain relief, there is two options. One being nitrous oxide, which is like, I don't think it's laughing gas, but kind of. I would like put a mask on and breathe it in. And I've heard that that kind of just takes your mind off of the pain. It doesn't really take the pain away. The second option is fentanyl. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, um, and that would be through the IV. So yeah, obviously it's in a reasonable dose that they can give it to you, but I'm like, sounds alarming. I'll probably try the nitrous oxide first just to see if that helps at all. I am feeling the contractions, but I can speak through them and they're not that painful right now. They are happening like every two to three minutes, I would say just not super strong. So I'm still kind of eating some of my Chick-fil-A because she said as long as I don't get Pitocin or whenever I do get Pitocin is when I need to stop eating. So that makes me feel better. Um, I think Chima and I might 
try and close our eyes since we can kind of sleep right now. We might as well sleep right now before everything starts getting a little crazy. The nurse has been in here a couple times, but the doctor will come in soon and kind of go over, I guess, like next steps. I'm having a contraction right now. It just feels like a period cramp. I asked the nurse about filming and like rules on that. She said she doesn't care, but she said other people might. And I'm like, of course I would blur faces or not even get that direction. I might either hide it because I really wanted to show everything, but we'll see and I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can. Um, I did actually just get this put on, which is a wireless monitor. So um, in about 10 minutes, she said, after they kind of get a good reading for a bit, I can get up and like start to move around which is amazing also my room has a tub in it which i'm like thank you so much because i heard being in the water and everything like that is like almost equivalent to an epidural so i just want to try and stay moving as much as i can when i can um, but right now i think i'm going to try and close my eyes and then we'll check back in in a little bit update it's been a minute it's currently at 3 20 a.m and I think the last time that they checked me, it was like around 1 a.m. And I was five centimeters dilated, 50% face. So we're making progress. It's been a couple hours and my contractions have gotten more painful. And I feel like more like consistent probably every like two minutes right now. I think we're making good progress. Hopefully we get to meet her soon. Dad is being very supportive in taking naps in between. I read a whole novella. It's called The Exception to the Rule by Christina Warren. If you are in need or want an easy read, it's like 100 pages. It's a little cute romance book. Super easy to read. The monitors want to be all funky. That's one thing I hate about the monitors. I was on a wireless monitor before, but it was being really finicky, so we had to switch back to the corded one. Good morning. It is day three of being in the hospital. 
day two after giving birth, and we are being discharged today. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> we're stealing all of the baby items that we can because we were told to do that. Um, diapers, wipes, swaddles, all that good stuff. If you're a first time mom, I just wanted to show you everything that they provide because honestly, I feel like we could have came and had nothing packed and have been fine. They really do provide you with so much. So you have, of course, pads and you have your tux pads. If you have any like hemorrhoids or even just, it helps with cooling and relief. It's pretty much just witch hazel pads. And then honestly, you guys, I kind of talked like crap about this peri bottle, but I've been using it and it's not bad. My other one would be better, but I just haven't gotten it out yet. So this has been fine and it does the job. And then this stuff has been amazing. It is kind of like lidocaine, or it is lidocaine, and it helps with like pain, burning, um, itching, and it helps cool down there. So you just spray it and it's totally safe just to spray down there. That's pretty much all of the bathroom stuff that they give you. But then obviously for the baby, they give you diapers, wipes. Like we literally didn't need to bring anything. Swaddles, onesies, they hooked it up. Hi world, we're introducing a new life. Her name is Zero Love Uzuihe. She was born on February 28th, 2024. And she has effectively flipped our world upside down. And yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like every time I look at her, I just wanna ball. <laughs> She's so cute. She was born six pounds, 10 ounces. But you know, she's about six pounds, so. And they say that's okay. She's um, been gnawing on mommy's nipples. She's been a great time. I'm exhausted, but. But worth it. But so worth it. Julia didn't get an epidural. And honestly, as her support, zero out of 10 would not <laughs> recommend. <laughs> but she was a trooper. She made it through. Baby came quick. I got to cut the umbilical cord. I got to watch the baby head come out. So now we're just gonna take it day by day. Enjoy her, live in the moment. The come in. It's her oyster. We are leaving. We got discharged. It is like 3 p.m. Two days after birth. We're going home. Anxious, nervous, excited, all the feelings. 